piece of history is now prominently displayed in Clarendon County. A monument was unveiled today that commemorates the Briggs versus Elliott case, which helped in the fight to desegregate America's schools. News 19's Walker Lawson was there. This is something special because they got a stone for the name that we're not recognized. And I shall praise the God to understand them and see what the Lord. Hundreds of people gathered on the grounds of the Old Scots Branch High School in Somerton for the Briggs versus Elliott Historical Park unveiling ceremony. The lawsuit challenged school desegregation in the town. The new historical park recognizes the plaintiffs, petitioners, and leaders who helped lead the famous Briggs versus Elliott case. The lawsuit was eventually grouped in the landmark Brown versus Board of Education, the landmark Supreme Court decision that abolished segregation in schools. This history means everything for this community. Well, we started this. Uh... Uh, that's 2017. The concept was to just put up one monument here and that turned into what you see here. We were determined to recognize those plaintiffs and petitioners and leaders who did the stuff that they did, the Briggs vs. Elliot case. Robert McFadden is the president of the Somerton Community Action Group who hosted the event and says it's needed. These people have to be recognized, okay? And they will be, they are being recognized. It was excitement that we finally got it done because from the inception of it, we had a vision, but we didn't know how it was gonna work out. But we were excited that we finally got it done. Recognition South Carolina Congressman James Clyburn says he hopes people learn about from the Somerton community. It's a very significant reminder uh, not just of what the country's history is, but the role that this community played in that history. In Somerton, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX. Well, you can visit the monument anytime. It's in front of the old Scotts Branch High School located in downtown Somerton.